So for no good reason, other than they look quite nice things to have, I've just bought myself a set of slip gauges that I found on eBay. And if you don't know about slip gauges, they're a set of finely ground steel lengths. And in the set I bought, you can produce any length to a resolution of one micrometer. And you do this by so-called ringing the gauges together. Now reading around, it looks like for reasons that no one really fully understands, when you ring the gauges together, they stick. So there's no magnetism, there's no glue, it's just a result of them being so precisely and finely ground. So here, I randomly picked a 10mm and 50mm gauge, so I ended up with a length of exactly 60mm. So that's what they do, now I need to just think of something useful to do with them. So I have to say, I'm really pleased with the quick change tool post that I bought. It is so much easier than messing around with shims. Nonetheless, it's still a bit of a faff raising and lowering the tool to get it to the right height. But if I can find centre height of the lathe, I can make a reference bar that's that exact length, and then when I can put the tool in the quick change tool post, I can butt it up against it and quickly get things to the right height. So what I've done in this shot is build a bridge across the lathe bed with some 123 blocks, and then chuck uh, a piece of silver steel into a collet chuck, and then finally build a stack of gauge blocks that look to be about the right height to meet the top of the silver steel. And I put the DTI on the cross slide, and using a cross slide dial I found the middle of the top of the silver steel. So then all I've got to do is move the carriage between the silver steel and the gauge block, and reading from the DTI I can see how far I am with the gauge block height. So that wasn't bad going, I'm only 0.04 mil out. So back over to the gauge block set and change the height by 0.04 mil. And now I'll re-measure, and I think to be honest, that's good enough for me. So I've added up the height of the 123 box and to the height of the slip gauge set, and then subtract half the diameter of the silver steel bar. That gives me 124.96mm, so now I'm going to cut a reference bar that's 124.96mm long. And then using that reference bar and just running my fingernails between the reference bar and the tool, I'm setting the tool height to the same height as the reference bar. So if that's been a success, I should be able to face this part and there shouldn't be a pip in the middle. Right, all in all, I'd say pretty happy with that, and it seems very repeatable. But if you don't have a set of slip gauges, there is another way of doing this. You can always just look at the lathe spec on the Walco website.